multi-sensory math. Your child is gifted with a spatial, um, visual spatial mind. They think in pictures, they think in 3D objects. It's really, really helpful for them to do what's called CRA. So CRA is concrete, stuff you touch in your hands. R is the picture, that's what you're looking at here. And A is the abstract, just the numbers. And sadly, most of the instruction in America is mostly A. We've tried and tried and tried to move teachers toward the C and the R, but because of how they were taught and because so many people feel shame about their math abilities, we're struggling as a society to change this because this is the hallmark of good teaching. It is important for all learners. It's essential for our students with dyslexia. It's essential for our students with autism and ADHD. It makes a world of difference. It's just good teaching. So if you're looking for some resources about this, there's three books that I recommend. Um, they're typically the two colorful ones, the red and blue one. Those are more meant for students sixth grade and under. They are not for the older students. Um, but inside, there's games to play. Um, even the assessment piece is more game-like, but you would get a very good sense of what the students look doing and how they're thinking. And um, make a plan for that intervention to help your child. And then Mathematics for Dyslexics and Dyscalculics. I adore this book. It's heavy in research, I will warn you, but it is very, what's the word? Satisfactory for me to read it because it is proof that what we do actually works. He's saying everything that I've been saying for a very long time. He believes a lot of the same things as I do, but he has taken the exhaustive work to back it up with research. So um, that's a really helpful book. If you like that kind of stuff, I highly recommend it. So there is curriculum out there that does support that CRE approach. Math UC is one. Math's no problem. This is UK program. However, it's the same math. You can use it. They just maths. Um, the only other difference would be they don't call it a one, they call it a unit. And that makes sense because of the metric system over there. And then there's bridges here. I love bridges, but it's only available to schools. But if you're a parent who's looking for some, just type in bridges home connection into an internet search. All sorts of workbooks show up with fantastic visuals for your child. You could do the concrete piece on your own, but then there's pictures that really help. My complaint about that curriculum is the pages are busy and they don't do what's called supatizing. So supatizing is when you um, take a quantity and arrange it into a pattern like the dice on my shirt, a tally mark, for example. Supatizing is really important for our kids. And then the last one is CPM. Um, same complaint, worksheets too busy, font too small, <laughs> but it does use the CRA approach. But there is no perfect curriculum out there. As a team, we're constantly making our own things and pulling from multiple resources. Um, there just isn't a one one size fits all. You know, every, every learner is different, so there really shouldn't be, but there are not very many that do what we hold to our standard, and so we have to change a lot of it to make it to our standard. So you might also be wondering about if, I know we have an educator here with us tonight, if you want to learn more about this method, who trained us as a team is Marilyn Zecker, and she is ongoingly helping us, training us, um, mentoring us. And then as a team, everyone on our team, we're always doing um, training and making sure we're up to date. We have a, a lot of support going on and lots of cheering from Marilyn. She's really proud of us and what we're making here. Um, so check her out. And then there's Making Math Real out of California. Uh, the cost for doing Making Math Real is significantly higher than Marilyn, just FYI and they don't do anything virtual, you have to go to them. I haven't checked though during the pandemic to see if he finally changed his mind about that, but he's really limiting people on getting the methods um, by requiring you to be in California for weeks on end. It's not just a weekend, it's weeks on end to be there. And then there's Wooden Math and Mortensen Math. Um, both of those are excellent and feel free to Google and check those out.